Hey there, we're starting another video. This time we'd just like to show you that. I'm going to read about the independence war of the United States. I've been reading a lot of books recently. I'm just gonna show you that. Uh, look. All of those books back there. Yeah, knowledge is important. Knowledge protect us from being stupid morons who believe in ghosts. <laughs> so <laughs> I'm just joking you can believe in whatever you want I just really get mad that people still believe in stupid things so it's just me that's who I am I'm not gonna attack anyone for believing that this, this sort of thing exists and such you should go to the site well right here I have the behemoth of a video 27 minutes long like Bizarre, Bizarre Hub changed his name to Bizarre Bub. I never noticed that. Was his channel always called Bizarre Bub, and I never noticed it? Wow, Mandela effect. Let me just check here on one of the, his older videos. I'm just stretching a video that's already long to become even longer. I'm just gonna check here on an older video. If you've ever seen the show Cops. Then you know how suspenseful uh, the show can be. It doesn't appear his name. His name doesn't appear on one of these older videos, so that's sad. I'm gonna put this whole screen. Let's press Z. Can you see my screen now? I'm just gonna check if I can see my screen. Okay. All right, let's start this. A couple is inside their kitchen when something pretty terrifying is caught on camera. The following video comes from Crystal and Damien. Who <laughs>
An urban explorer named Chris Hill returns to an abandoned warehouse and encounters something far more terrifying than the last time he came there. Previously, Chris oh, had found a place back. that is believed to be extremely haunted. It wasn't until looking back at the footage that he oh, took sorry, during this exploration that. that Chris realized he wasn't alone. Someone, or something, had been watching him throughout the entire night. Whatever this was, Chris can't help but feel that the supposed supernatural entity is the reason why he felt as though... I love the Russian Gordon Freeman, and now I love this guy as well, he's really fun. And of course Fort Wall, the unbeatable Fort Wall with all of the Asian horror ghosts Sight. and recordings. I'm back. He's back! Amazing. Dude, you're my favorite horror explorer or whatever. <laughs> I hope now whether or not viewers not have convinced him to return anything. is unknown. But if one thing is certain, it's that Chris does not want to be here. He takes the same path he took last time when exploring this place. And just like before, when he gets to a creepy corridor beneath the building, things start to get a little strange. Wow. Yep, it's really, it's still really cold in here. Look, you can see my breath now, look. Like, that's how you know I'm not lying. But look, I'll do it out here. You don't see my breath. But as soon as you come in here, oh my god, it's freezing. As soon as you come in here. I don't know if the camera can see that, I hope so. But that's crazy. The change in temperature upon entering the corridor is no doubt strange, but it's the following incident that's by far the strangest. When Chris arrives at the site where he felt as though someone had touched him, he's immediately overcome by a feeling of dread. Now you don't have to look closely to notice a blue light in the distance. This is where Chris had set up the infrared cameras, which is the same spot where he set them up last time. Near the cameras, however, there's a small staircase that leads to a space below that Chris hadn't fully explored. He proceeds to check out the space and captures this. It's a weird noise in this room. That's creepy. I heard that, yeah. A weird noise in this room. If you listen closely, you can hear what sounds like someone whispering in a deep, monotone voice. Viewers agree that this alone would have made Chris run for the hills had he listened to the audio right then and there. But it's the following incident that did just that. As he heads back upstairs and arrives at the creepy corridor, things take a terrifying turn. This is what was captured. Really creepy in here. As I walk, it sounds like people are talking. I don't know if that's just the sound of my feet echoing or what. It's really creepy. What a weird structure. It really looks like it doesn't end. This was, this was obviously a furry animal. 
You could see the fur. Immediately after right, Chris, here's a stop. noise coming from above. A piece of That's a furry animal. It looks like a raccoon. From upstairs, Look at that. The ground. Look at that. That's a furry animal. Come on. Immediately after Chris, here's a noise coming from above. Look, that's that's an animal. That's a furry animal. Look at that. Immediately after Chris, here's a noise coming from above. A piece of debris from uh, Immediately after Chris, here's the noise coming from above. That's an animal, look at that. Probably a raccoon. A piece of debris from upstairs hits the ground, sending him running out of the corridor in a panic frenzy. He arrives back upstairs, unaware that during this time, the infrared camera from below had caught footage of a ghostly figure walking about before suddenly disappearing. What's even more strange is that the figure appears only seconds later after the piece of debris had mysteriously fallen on its own. Feeling beyond scared, Chris looks around to find the piece of debris that fell. This big ass box just fell on this grate. Maybe it fell from up there. Oh my god, my heart's racing. Okay, you know what? I'm gonna put the IR camera up here while I explore. That'd be a good idea. Yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. I got the IR camera set up at the top floor. By setting up the infrared cameras on the top floor, Chris hopes to capture footage of who or whatever it might have been that dropped the box. He sets up the IR cameras from below and continues to explore the place, specifically downstairs. But when Chris returns to where the IR cameras have been set up, this is captured.
In a swift motion, Chris is yanked by an unseen force, sending him straight to the ground and knocking him out upon impact. Minutes pass, when he suddenly wakes up to find that he's been unconscious for a while. Realizing what just happened, he grabs his things and immediately leaves the place. With all that's happened, as well as the previous incident from last time, viewers no doubt believe that something sinister dwells in this place. Whether malicious or not, the question is begged. Did Chris capture evidence of a paranormal happening? Or is there something else that could explain this? Although it's hard to be sure what occurred, one thing is certain. Chris is definitely never coming back to this place again. I would, because there's still a lot to explore in this place. So, if that's fake or not, I don't think it matters because it looked really, really good. It was just amazing to watch that. ...which is located in the city of Buenos Aires. Not much is known about this hospital, except that it might be haunted. This notion had just become popular recently when surveillance footage Italian from inside the hospital captured Spanish? this. At around 3 in the morning, a security guard is filling out some paperwork when he looks across at the entrance and sees an old woman walking through the automatic doors. He promptly gets up and receives the old lady. According to the guard, this is exactly what happened that morning. But when looking over at the video that was taken during this time, a different story is told. This is the footage. Another one of those cases. Maybe she's a vampire, that's why she doesn't appear on cameras. All the details of the security guard story check out, except for one, the old woman that supposedly walked in and met with him. No one else is seen, except the guard. Strangely though, we can see the doors opening as though someone had walked in. Further adding to the strangeness, the guard is seen conversing with someone, but they don't appear to be there or anywhere in sight. The video on its own is creepy, but it's the story that makes it creepier. It's the following detail though that makes it a whole lot spooky. According to the guard, after attending the old lady and offering her a wheelchair because of how frail she looked, she made her way to the elevator. She then told the guard she was going to the ninth floor to look for the ID and belongings of a patient who had passed away the day before. She proceeds to enter the elevator and is never seen again. As it turns out though, the name of the woman, which the guard had written down on his clipboard, was in fact a patient of the hospital who had passed away the day before. Because of this, viewers believe that the ghost of the old lady had come to collect her things. Real or not, it's a good story. Yet, it seems that no further information is available on this video, making really this whole nice. incident and a total story mystery. Really, I don't say creative, but it fits what's been recorded. The following video comes from Troy Legault, who lives happily with his family and three dogs inside a house that was only built 10 years ago. Given the age of this house, Troy doesn't think that it's old enough to be haunted. However, it seems that Troy has been proven wrong in regards to this notion, as it was just recently that something very unusual was captured. Prior to this video, there have been other weird happenings in his home. From things moving on their own, to lights turning on by themselves, None compare to the following footage. On November 6 of 2022, at around 8.30 in the morning, this was captured. Stop with the noise. What's in here? How look at how thin this door is. What's in here, brother? Thank you. 
Although not much info is given on this clip, it's still pretty weird. All that is known is that no one was home when this happened. As with most viewers, Troy can't seem to explain this. But of course, what are your thoughts on this? Ghost or something else? Who knows? If you caught something creepy on camera, or if there's any ghost videos you'd like me to check out and include in the next compilation, you can send them over to scaryvideos444 at gmail.com. That being said, let's get back to the video. I hope I remember to cut this part of the video. This last video comes from Anna Tan, who's the mother of a baby girl named Evelyn. It was only a few months ago that Anna's brother passed away. His passing this? has been very painful for Anna, considering how close he was to her and her daughter. Although tragic, Anna takes comfort in the thought that he still lives on in the afterlife and continues to watch over Evelyn and the rest of her family. One day, Anna and her daughter are in the kitchen, when something very strange happens. Anna takes out her phone and begins to record. This is what was captured. Who are you talking to? Talking to who are you talking to? Evelyn, who are you talking to? Who are you talking to? It appears as though Evelyn is talking to someone. Anna is convinced that her baby daughter had been in contact with her deceased uncle. This notion becomes even more believable considering that a male voice is heard early in the video. Who are you talking? If you listen closely, the word uncle can be heard. For this reason, including the fact that her daughter kept on repeating uncle over and over, who are you talking to? Anna believes that her brother was present during this recording. Like with most videos though, I'll let you decide whether or not that's the case. All in all, although strange, all this video all is, is pretty wholesome. Another brick in the wall. All in all is just a another brick well <clears throat> that was a video 30 minutes long wow i'll have to cut a lot and speed up a lot of that first clip because i think that was just acted and not really real i hope you enjoy this anyway um i don't know when i'm gonna record this again because all of the videos uh, by bizarre bub apparently was his name always bizarre bub and i always thought that it was bizarre hub damn the manzella effect which is also not real well um until the next video